if you know for another busy few days on the allotment and up the garden luckily for me so i'm uh, keeping active plus doing these and all you know i like my nature programs this is what beavers have done boston or chaps right mini uh chopper is getting used now my blender went got wore out you know i like to get small ingredients from my worms so the eggshells go in and uh, get them up as small as you can that's how they come out after a quick blast if you want them smaller just blast them again smaller the ingredients pick the break down when i was in the mob I used to like corn dog with a red sauce right that last week i done it for moons and three are in a red brief when they uh, dry off the flowers take them off bougainvillea in the greenhouse there showing signs shallots are going on as well nice right greenhouse uh, thermometers i had my last lot i think from uh, wilco when i went and had a look at them it was the one on the left was about 10 of them but the difference in the temperature on all of them high and low so i've got the one in the middle the mean one meaning and i've got two together Caslon Primer School Garden Club, when I used to do them, this was Mitchell in the middle. Took him through his uh, last three years, I think he did garden with us. Uh, Tuesday afternoon he used to be uh, from three o'clock, 50 pence per kid, hour and 10 minutes. And uh, the biggest waiting list in the after school club. This is what the kids grew, so I got them to exhibit at Womburn. This is what I put in one onion and one leek. And they got a prize for their uh, stuff, which, the, which they enjoyed. And uh, last week, it come down our trading sheds. So I don't know how many years ago it was. Probably 12, 13 or something. But he's that keen now, he's got his own allotment. And he's took everything in. Raised beds, four foot wide. Look at that. And he's keen as must be. So it worked. This is a photo of... Um, Fog down Wales last week, Gordon Bennett. Right, um, these are me blanch leaks, the Welsh ceiling. I've got nine of them that need potting up. So, uh, drinking cup into the next pot size up. Multi purpose compost fill with uh, vermiculite. Put in, firmed in upright, and then watered. Just a quick water in the greenhouse, then I put them outside of water. So the stuff, my compost when I finish with that, I roll it up and put that on the right of the greenhouse where I've got my heat. Right, trespassers on site, we had it on uh, somebody else's plot. This chairman, I've got to sort the crap out. So the old chap who that was, um, he caught somebody going in his shed. This was a couple of days later, he never told me. I said, what are you telling us? We could have jobbed him. I said, we still job him. I'll take you down the cop shop, do it in writing and I'll put my uh, piece in and then we'll sort out but he, he didn't want the hassle so basically he's got away with it but he ain't because I know who it is so obviously now I put a sign on the gate saying anybody caught going to anybody else's plot you'll get thrown off Christ what a bloody ch the chairman's job easy that's why nobody does it I suppose put one also on the notice board Plus on our notice board, we also got a note up for the dates you can have bonfires. And for us, it's the first Saturday and Sunday of November, December, January, February, and March. And somebody was throwing one of them out, so uh, I borrowed that. That would just go around one of my bins, even though they couldn't burn it anyway. I had about a turning off and all. So this was the Saturday and Sunday, and all the stuff went. Then all the stuff we got out the um, the tunnel for people learning development is we clear the, all that out as well, so that'll help them out for when they do come back. Spent tops delivered again. Luckily, look at that snowflake. In it weird nature, I love it. Raspberries autumn treasure. These will get jobbed in the jan beginning of uh, Feb, but you can see how much they've spread either side because they're, they're just going straight down the middle so they'll be jogging later on picked my last straw, uh, raspberry a couple of weeks ago uh, 
autumn treasure and raspberries were. This is in the top structure. Just checking the beds. I do need a watering so the old covers come off and then you have a good watering. I want to keep that soil active. If I, if I dry out, I'm, I'm still working, but I'm not uh, active as much as bacteria from going with it. Then we're pegged in <coughs> on the right hand side with 10 pegs, and on the left, I have a look at him. He needs a bit of moisture in as well, so the cover comes off that one, and I'll give him a good soaking. When I say a good soaking, I mean at least 12 watering cans. Probably takes me about 20 minutes or something. You've got to keep that in there, and once it's covered, you don't get the evaporation and it lasts longer, which is what I want. Next one is a raised bed in the uh, tunnel. As you remember, I used to have it drying off me gladio all our combs here. So this top is full of cormlets. So I've took them to the top of the plot, my plot, where the edge row is, and I've shook them all in there. So hopefully in a couple of years' time, I might get some little chaps spurting up. Uh, yeah, you just see me. So that's had a good watering as well. And get the old cover back on. As we've done there, and it was semi contained on the bottom left. That's me uh, liquid osmuk ready for when we do water and thing. Right, the weed control membrane fabric outside these covers, what I've got on here. The, the porous, I mean, when it does rain, it goes straight through and does that job for me. So that, that's ideal in that sense. Good catch, but um, no, I don't think that's going to work. Might have to take, take it on. Right, in theory, I'm still uh, watering and spraying him. This was a uh, Wicklass Satley rugby battle to the end. I was getting a bollocking halfway through. This was in the paper last week, but Bougainvillea, about. <coughs> I need a temperature of at least 20 for a few hours a day. Indoor, perfect. Trellis top of the garden, this is one of my climbers. Would you flower him? I don't know what, when the coming all good. In fact, we know the situation we are in. These bougainvilleas in the greenhouse are now um, brightening up. Leaves are turning red, meaning they are warming up. Any pot leaks, you can see the difference in size just by potting up. You will get a, a progress in size. Uh, coal down the plot, as you can see, his nose is running. This was early though, foggy. Composting. Pumpkin, I've still got about half one left, chopping him up, chop everything up as you know, got me bored in this crap now, just guess there's any new ones. Chop all my kitchen garden waste up, double hand full of everything else, and then go straight in the bin. This uh, bin is now filled up, so I've got another one sorted out ready, and start again. He does need a, a drop of moisture on him, a drop of water. And the old carpets go back on top. If they need a drop of water as well, I like to keep them moist, so I'll get Mr. Worms between them. And uh, the lid goes on that. I forecast uh, snow later on. Hope we don't get that bad. My Jason bought a um, point set around. And uh, this is another red leaf plant, which I like. As you can get a bit closer in, in the middle of the plant itself, you can see it does sh throw flowers. So that the leaves aren't the flowers, they are leaves. But it does need potting on, so you yeah, bung them out in small pots, obviously. So the room, but when you take the cellophane off, they do collapse a bit. So I'm making mould, and he's going to be next pot, pot size up. There's a quick way to in the greenhouse. Then I'll throw him outside to wait for him until he's drained out the bottom, as we can see there. I'll look at this after about 10 days, 2 weeks, and then pot him up again. Bougainvillea in the greenhouse, then you get potted up as well. <coughs> um, right, we're doing another trial and error. Two blanched leaks, exactly the same size. So what I'm doing is using my compost, which is there. Take the worms out, there's any in, throw them in a raised bed around the side. Two pots are identical. One on the left has got a clover in with vermiculite, and the one on the right 
we've got more compost in. So that's them the chaps get them outside and uh, give them a good watering out there and bring them back inside in the tunnel. Shallots watering them. Uh, nothing goes in the inside of the shallots. Right, another trial. Two more branch leaks exactly the same. One with and one without mycorrhizal fungi. As you know, I like the mycorrhizal. It is superb stuff. So the, all it needs is a little pinch. So two pots again. Both with the same clover compost. And eagers in the hole, as you can see there. So the other one, we've got nothing in, and one has. So they'll be going. There we are, leveled off, same size, straightened up. Watered outside, and then I may spray everything as well while I'm in the green ash. That little chap ain't gonna get many intruders to trying to nick him or take him. Right, last of me. Pigeon muck is going to be shredded in the garage. Some more uh, eggshells I'll be given, so I'll drop them as well. That's a bit dark, just looking at me point setter. But it's, uh, right, grub, our little is back on. So I'll do him a lasagna. He likes his grub exactly the same as me. Crusty cob. Mm. Both our kids have learned to cook now, as should everybody else. You Max, if anybody wants it, this down our shedding, because he's got sand in instead of F2S, which costs a bloody bomb now, and the U Max is only half the price. So I'm going to see what interest I get to get that. But the Levington grow bags, I'm staying with them. 27 litre. That's big enough for anybody. Stuff uh, we got on the plot now is uh, rabbit muck, spent tops, and pigeon muck. Right, so I've got some leaves down the side of the uh, top of the plot, so I'm collecting them as well. So I've got a bag of them, fresh leaves to chop up as a compost ingredient, and one, uh, some to go in my bin as well, because it's dropped a couple of inches over a couple of days. Top carpet dried out, so I've um, wet him as well. And that, that's the one that's brewing. Put the date on because it's topped 9th and the 12th. This was last year's leaf mould. It is beautiful stuff. I mean, it's ready in the six months, but if we want it to look this good, leave it here. Beautiful stuff. Right, that's the top of my plot. And there's looking from the top going down the pathway all the way down. So if I want to piddle or piddle on the top mat, I'm still doing it. Because this rubber underneath, it, it hangs onto the piddle. Meaning it deters rabbits, foxes, badgers. Uh, little bug house, I've still got little chaps in there overwintering. A bit blurry, but you still see him. This is in mate's greenhouse next door. He's got his tit box up and there's a, a tit in it. I couldn't get him. Look at them two little chaps. Love them. The missus is having a, a cockapoo for Christmas. If you want one for young, that's rosy. So. He's never had a hobby, ain't had time. So, back garden, there's a bit of a gap, so I've got to fill that in, so the chap dough, chap winch, so the little chap winch dough fall down there. No spiky bits, all things sticking out, so I'll have to look after them. Wood chip, which I bought down for the, <coughs> got Connie for wood chip, which is ideal for me blueberry. This is blue crop, which I had last year. Um, so I've top dressed him, we'll, we'll come to that later on, we'll cover that, because they like acidic feeds, same as azaleas and rhododendrons. Front garden, me, Alstrom here in there, they're still growing strong because I'm up against the wall. The plants that have died off, all the stems that have died off, this time when it's from South Wales, just pull them out, don't cut them off. And he's been top dressed as well. Don't forget to get your missus to check your plums regularly. <laughs> Tunnel back garden. Last to me gladys. I've chopped them all off. I need to prepare this bed. It's, it's, it's going to get colder. And I want to get it done before then. 
So the, the flower stems that are really good, or the ones that got flowers on. I slice them really good in the vase. A bit dark, but you can see them on the right. But we'll, we'll have a nose of them later on. More wood chip on the borders if required. And uh, it's the word much. I've got down low there, and you can see the spring bulbs coming through already. And there's my little uh, skate, ice skating eagle. A majestic bird. Down our zone shopping, went to the charity, charity shop, noticed these three books for a quid. So I got the thickest and the oldest. Then we didn't last me a minute for composting. Went outside and smelt food. Oh, couldn't resist it. Pork stuffing, crackling gravy, Boston. Lovely grub. Right, stables, free to collect. If anybody's in the West Mids, you're near Dudley or um, Albury. I got straw manure, old or fresh, worms and liquid or smoke. And I bought a bag of worms back as well. But um, I'm open seven days a week. Just open the gate. Go in on the left, anybody can go in. You just help yourself. Bought some of them back for me bins. A quick waiter. Because obviously worms breathe through the skin, so I'm going to stay moist. Put your lids on. The carpet lids. And then your lid is going to be left alone now. Right, my other bins, because I've started putting um, black plastic around my carpets. If you see the bin on the left, I saw that they are in the summer. So for winter, I put carpet around. But if that carpet's getting wet and then frost, it's still a bit cold for the worms. So what I'm doing now is cover in black plastic, and this repels, uh, sorry, it absorbs the heat and the light. Make it but there's not enough air move in air input in the, in the pot um, bin itself, so I've just took the front off. So there's air going through that little doorway because I've never tight seal, and then lids off the top as well. So there's air going in that way. There's another little chap. Nature at its best. Beautiful. The mate sent me some uh, a little present from down south. Corned beef ash, we used to have this in the mob and all. Our kid, one of his best meals. Just chop your onion, grated cheese, small onion pieces, then grate your corn dog and put that in. Seems a compost in it. Smaller the ingredients, the better. And then mix. Potatoes have been boiled. Drop of um, uh, marge, milk, mash them up, then bung that in as well and mix that lot up. Throw it in your dish cooking this, bung it in the oven, 60 minutes, 200. Obviously a bit dry, so you've got to have beans with it, and a bit pickled beetroot and all, one that should have gone in the show. Amaryllis from Little, I'm slogging these off, nice little chap, He's showing his, uh, what's it? Right, all my uh, gladicorms are coming up, I took the flowers off earlier on, now these lot are coming out. Get right underneath, lift them out because you've got the corners underneath as well. If you leave them in, I'll start flowering. Empty them out of the pot, separate the little chaps, loads of roots on them so they've got a good root structure on everything. Uh, put them on me little trays, mushroom trays, turn upside down so I've got air movement because they've got holes in. But uh, any sign of a frost, then they go in the garage. I don't want them to. Uh, Right, this little chap. I saw this photo and thought of uh, my first encounter with one. In 1969, when I was in the mob, as an 18 year old, we stopped off at Brunei, Borneo, and there were some volunteers to go in the jungle with the Gurkhas for the weekend. And they did a midnight wild boar hunt. I crap this up. Luckily, they saw me to stop at the bottom of a tree and stay there until that finished. What an experience. Wood chip for conifers. <coughs> Right, um, conifer wood chip, acidic meaning it is excellent for conifers. Uh, rhododendrons, azaleas, and me, me blueberries. Good top, top dressing on the lot. Uh, when leaves drop, this is off anything, they're acidic, but when they, uh, as they break down, they go neutral. That's nature sorting it out for you. That's why leaf mold is uh, good for everything. 
So my blueberries down the bottom of the plot as well, well in the one at the top. Uh, they were all buried. Was about the Eric Asia's composting, and they don't dry out so quick if they're buried. So I took all the rubbish off, weeds, old leaves, and then top dress with my conical wood chip. An extra feed is uh, vinegar twice a year, two tablespoons of yellow. And there's my blueberry at the top, which is doing exactly the same again. Chicken fritters, satney, love them. I cook me sliced cooked chicken in me, in me George Foreman on the left. Then I've sliced me uh, peppers and onions. Half a packet of there's me extras. Half a packet of fajita mix oil. It's not just like a stir fry cook till you, you've cooked it. Then the one on the right, when it is cooked, I swap them over. Then we get that still warm. So by the time I've heated up the chicken again and cooked that both sides, they're both ready. And there's me extras ready to go in, grated cheese, toms, or whatever. So once I've turned the chicken a bit, that like is thrown back in there, and he's stir frying again for a bit. Beautiful, love them. I used to get the the large breads, but now I just get the small ones. Throw these lot in. Busted. Three of them, enough for any man. Me spraying regular, still with me chilies and me uh, little chaps. There's me flowers when they come out, me gladdies. Some uh, decent ones in there. But that's the last one for this year. So hopefully we can get a good one this year. Another little chap phased them out. Right, a bit of, bit of 